Are you seeing that your people are coming to your one-on-ones and into meetings and they, they just don't look like they are bringing it? They look tired, they look less engaged, they don't seem to be entirely present with you or the work. Well, you are starting to see people's resilience break down. So we want to talk a little bit about what are the four things that you can do to stoke your resilience or what I love to call mental toughness. My name is Marla Skibbins and I'm one of the Level Up EQ team members where we take leaders in tech and biotech to the next level of their leadership. If you're new here, please click the like or subscribe, even better, and then the worksheets that I talk about in this YouTube will be available to you. Okay, here you are. You're listening to this because something about resilience caught your eye. You're probably starting to feel, I call it wilting. It's just your passion, your purpose, you're being able to bring it every day. You're looking at Monday going, oh my God, four more days. You're starting to feel like, what's the point? That's where resilience is starting to wear down. And I want to talk about the four top elements of developing or continuing to stoke resilience. Having a purpose or being clear about what your purpose is. There's having a belief in yourself and and your good qualities or your abilities. There's feeling a sense of choice or control in some way. And there's having a really good social network that can support you. So the first one, purpose. And as I said, there's going to be a worksheet. So when you subscribe and you click click the like, you'll be able to have the worksheets. There's going to be a worksheet on how to find your purpose and how to find your good qualities. So purpose is not about something that's been handed down to you on high. This is really about at the end of your life, at the end of your days, what do you want your life to have counted for? What's the impact? And this is really a place for you to think big, to think almost grandiose, like that voice in your head will go, you're being grandiose. So purpose is about dragging you out of your difficulty or out of bed, literally, or towards the next thing or or through the next challenge. It's really something that like, yes, I'm here to make a difference and to have people be well. So if that's your purpose, you can remind yourself of that when you're starting to will, and it can help elevate your thinking and your sense of well-being to keep moving through and towards what it is that you want to create an impact in the world. The second piece is about looking at your your like your belief in yourself. And um, in the worksheet, we'll talk some and help you find this for yourself. But it's really looking at, well, where have you had adversity in your life? Where have you really brought it? Or where have you really excelled or done something that you felt proud of? And what were the elements of you? What were the qualities? Like maybe it took bravery. Maybe it took grit. Maybe it took kindness. Maybe it took love. Whatever it was, what are those elements of yourself that you can really count on? That you can go, this is me. I can be loving. I can be gritty. I can be smart. And you can hook your heart to that and it can help you remember your best attributes and how can I leverage or bring those into the work that I'm doing today when I'm feeling wilted and how can I remember to bring connection or love or or my perseverance into this situation. And so it can help imbue it with more energy and aliveness. So that's the second piece. And again, in the worksheet, it'll help you with questions. Find those for yourself. The third piece around choice. Okay, I got to tell you something. You're a choice right now. You're a choice to do or not do anything. 
You may not feel a choice, but I'm here to tell you, you're a choice. So what do you choose? When you go to work, you choose to go to work. And you may feel like I got to pay the bills. You're choosing to pay the bills. The, when you have I've got to mentality, it takes your choice away. But when you say I'm here because I choose to be here or I have this situation I may not like very much, but I can choose to be the kind of person I'd be proud to be in this situation. But with choice, it's always looking to see, well, what am I choosing here? Who am I choosing to behave as? And is this the person I want to be? That will give you a sense of control in a situation that may not feel very controllable, but you can always control how you are in it. And that in and of itself gives you resilience because you do have an, a measure of control over what's happening to you because how you face it can make all the difference. The final thing is, what are your top 10 people, five people that you can go to and get support and leverage. Because during times of difficulty, we need people to just hear us, to be willing to hear our difficulty, hear where we're having a hard time, give us um, support, remind us of our purpose, remind us of our great qualities. And it's almost like getting fuel and going to the, the, the charging station to get charged a little bit. When we reach out, and I know often my clients want a cave. They just want to go in their cave. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to talk to anybody. But even having a five-minute conversation can give us a boost in our mood and our well-being and our resilience. But do something with your network. I hope you found what we had to say useful. Please go into the comments section, download the worksheet and do the worksheet. Forward the worksheet to others, including folks in your family, because resilience is really the, the precursor to a happy life. Being able to re be resilient will support you in having well-being, having fulfillment, and having happiness in your life. So not just work, but in your life. And I want to thank you for making it this far, if you did make it this far, but if you're watching this, you did. Because you're a part of our purpose. We're here to unleash the magic of human potential and to transform organizations and to unlock the potential of humanity. And you're a part of that. So thank you for being willing to unlock and unleash the magic in yourself. That is what we're here to do. So thank you for being a part of that. Bye.